Hi guys, it's your girl Chris. Today I present you my one year natural hair anniversary video. I know, I know, it's long awaited, but guys, it took me a long time to gather all the pictures going back three years of my natural hair journey. Now I know my natural hair journey only started officially on May 5th, 2012, which was 10 days ago, one year ago. However, this video showcases events that happened prior to that date and how I've been able to deal with my hair after. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all your kindness and support, and I hope you enjoy. My natural hair journey never started in 2010, but a combination of events, factors, and situations that occurred to me from this point in time did help me to make the decision to go natural. First of all, this is not my real hair. I was wearing a hair piece on my hair because my hair was so short and I was really embarrassed about it. I constantly was at the hairdresser getting braids, weaves, twists installed into my hair. However, this was only to hide the fact that my hair was very dry, short, brittle and breaking constantly. The only way that I knew how to deal with it was to switch up my style, so I was flipped between braids twists and weaves constantly. In 2011, I went without a hairdresser, so I handled my hair the best way I could. I constantly blew it out and strained it with a flat iron. This was no good for my hair, but I kept on doing it because I felt this was the only way I could wear my hair decently. However, in the middle of 2011, a good friend of mine named Emma moved close to us, and she was a hairdresser. Another thing, she loved doing my hair, and I appreciated it. She was constantly sewing my hair with weaves, constantly braiding, twisting, and making my hair look really awesome. The one piece of advice she did give me though that I'll never forget was to always keep my hair protected and covered. She said as long as one did that, their hair would always remain healthy, and I did. Here are some of the products I used on my hair during this time. Unfortunately, at the end of 2011, Amma moved away to another city, and once again, I was without a hairdresser. In the beginning of 2012, the words of Amma still rung true in my head. She was also the person who introduced me to wearing wigs. This is the very first wig that I purchased, and I loved it. I wore it everywhere. I wore it to the bank. I wore it to church. I wore it to business meetings. I wore it to go and get milk from the grocery store. However, my hair was still in the bad situation it was in before. So as a last ditch result, I asked one of my friends to weave my hair, and she did. However, at this time, my sister was getting used to the natural hair community on YouTube. So on May 5th, 2012, we both made the decision to go natural. This is exactly what my hair looked like on that day. Now the first thing I wanted to try on my hair was a wash and go. It was simple enough, I washed my hair and went. However, my hair didn't react to it as well as I thought it would. This is my very first twist out, and I must say I was very disappointed. I was wondering why my hair totally did not look like those other YouTube gurus online. But I kept on going at my hair. I kept on prepping it, I established a complete regimen, and I was still upset. My hair was still short, it was still breaking, and I hated wearing twists outside. So I decided maybe I should switch up the style, and I wore flat twists, but I hated the way it made my head look. A day after putting those flat twists in, I took them out, and I was constantly experimenting with my hair. In the middle of 2012, I had to go to a wedding, and I was a bridesmaid, so I decided to get a wig just to preserve my hair. At this time, I constantly wore my hair in flat twists or twists, and just put them underneath the wig cap. No harm, no foul. So this wig became my favorite wig, and I still have it to this day. I constantly wore it at times when I felt my hair wasn't up to par, or at times when my hair was drying from being done the day before. I usually always did my hair on a Saturday, so most of the time I'd wear a wig to church on the Sunday. But as my confidence grew, I was able to wear a twist out, and I wasn't so ashamed anymore. 
This is the second twist up that I did and I must say it was a great success. This is what my hair looked like after my very first moisturizing deep conditioner. I had just learned about the difference between protein and moisture and I was just in time for my very first sew in after going natural. I was very pleased with the hairdresser who did my hair. She paid attention to my edges and she didn't add any other types of unnatural substances to my hair. She just used simple olive oil as well as the oils I had brought. When this particular sewing had gotten raggedy, I decided to straighten it out and rock it like this into the new year, 2013. Two thousand and thirteen has been a really big year for me and my hair. I would say that I have come into my own in the sense that I have fully established what works for my hair and what doesn't. And now all I need to do is continue to have the patience to persevere with my current regimen and see my hair to success. One thing I learned was that my hair preferred braids in the sense that it kept my hair neater and it also made my hair appear longer. This is an amazing fact that I discovered and I continue to rock braids to this day. Also, I alternated between protein treatments as well as moisturizing treatments. I do my hair and deep condition every week, so that's what my regimen is regarding that. As I came into my own, I realized that I was starting to like my hair at the current length and wasn't ashamed to rock it without having it in a twist out or a braid out. And I was beginning to love my curls. It was actually in this year 2013 that my sister finally came on board to become fully natural as well. She felt that she really wasn't as natural as she could have been and so she decided to follow in the footsteps of many others who have become natural just like me here's my first attempt at a high bun and i felt that it failed you remember this video right guys i loved how my hair was definitely growing thicker and stronger and i liked how i was keeping moisture in my hair with the greenhouse method overall i'm currently satisfied with the way my hair is i did have to transition between various styles techniques and schools of thought regarding my natural hair. In the end, I'm very pleased with what I've learned so far. Look, here's my first Bantu knots. I totally didn't know how these would turn out, but they turned out pretty well. I do have the picture all over Instagram in case you're wondering what it looked like. To me, I felt that they were a great big success. Finally, my hair was coming into its own. It looked great, it looked healthy, it felt great, it felt really healthy. And I was really happy with the way I was working my hair. Another thing that I learned was about pineappling. Oh yeah, and another thing, I could finally put my twists into a ponytail. Gradually, my hair was starting to become one with me. And I was starting to become one with my hair. There was improvement all around. I started also coming out of my shell and trying out different styles on my hair. Even as far as to come up with this pretty cool prom inspired look. The tutorial is coming out this Friday guys, I promise. And finally, I can rock my hair and twists quite proudly. Of the love you give to me It's the magic in your eyes